Hey everyone, Ava Paul here, and today we're doing another Transformers figure review. This time it's from Studio Series, and it's Transformers Bumblebee Thrust. Very cool. I haven't seen this movie, but I like the figure. Green, gray, black. I love that wing design. Very cool. So, look on the side, get a nice full size picture. And get a headshot, and it's a Voyager class. So, good size. Then we get the back here. 30 steps to transform it. Oh boy. And the backdrop is Cybertron Falls. And a little description down here at the bottom it says Thrust in the Seekers blast the Autobot launch pad with missile fire to stop the escape from Cybertron. Cool. I like to look at that too. Hmm, so that's how the Seekers look. Alright. So, let's get it open and take a closer look. Alright, now that Thrust is out of the box, I like him even more. Very cool. He does have a few problems. It could just be my figure of him. Uh, if you happen to get him or you already have him, maybe he doesn't have the same imperfections as mine does. They're not big, just small, but, eh. But, as always, let's talk about what the box comes with besides the figure itself. So, we have instructions. These are a nice, dark purple. And you would think, even though it's like, what, 30 steps? It'd be a bigger instruction, but no, it's just, that's it, it just unfolds, just this way. So, you, I don't know, for some reason when I think of 30 steps, I think of one that you have to fold out in all directions, but no. Very cool. Plus, you know, I like purple, so, yay. Now, next he comes with, let's just move him out of the way a little bit. Comes with the background here. Pretty cool. Stretch that out a little bit. Unfold it. Nice. Although, <clears throat> I think I've had this one before. Uh, I only have one other Bumblebee movie Transformer. Uh, well, technically two. I have a Soundwave and... I can't remember the, the, the name of the, the dog. The dog is set for Soundwave. But... So I'll just move that over there. Go back to the figure. Yee. So, I just love the colors on him. He's got the nice, bright lime green, or whatever you want to call it. And he's got this darker green in certain aspects of his leg and arm. A little bit of yellow. He has clear plastic yellow, and then he also has just painted yellow. Black, silver, gray, dark gray. Very cool. Look on the back, he has his Decepticon logos there on the wings. Now, there's like a lot going on. Like, he has joints in his wings all over the place. Like, wow. A lot of things to have to move, or if you want to pose them a certain way, make sure they don't get touched and messed up. But, not bad. Also, the details on him. Like, the face looks great. Looks like he has a... a uh, Kind of an oxygen mask or something on, doesn't it? You know, probably because he's a seeker. And jet. Jet plane pilots have masks. Yeah, that makes sense. But yeah, look at the arms, though. Like, details right there. Pistons, it looks like, or something. Like, I don't know, it just looks awesome. The legs look great. Everything about this, I just love. Now, really the one main thing I don't care for is, which, it could just be my figure. One of his guns over here, I don't know if it's a null cannon or what, I, I don't know. I think it's a null cannon, but it doesn't stay on. This one, it's just, it's loose. Super loose, like, oh, okay, now it's not going to come out when I shake it. But if I just... Okay, <laughs> even when I touch it, it's not coming out, but yeah. Like, yeah, it comes right out. 
this one, no, this one is nice and tight. It's not going anywhere on its own unless I actually touch it. This one, I think it'll, yeah, see, now it's moved. And I didn't touch it, I just shook it. But it still moved. I mean, also the head, not too much mobility on it. Uh, it has, because he has this, uh, the backing to it here, it's kind of hard to also move it. Because, there we go. He can only go about that far to the side. Either way. And it's kind of difficult, too, to move it. Besides it being in the way, it's made... Like the shape of the head for this piece back here. So where it sticks out here has to fit perfectly in there. And you can't really look up and down. It really makes no difference to how it is normally. No side to side or tilt. So there's that. But since we're now talking about articulation, let's go on to the arms. The arms do not go up very high. He gets a 90. That's about it. I mean, it's kind of cool that this part doesn't move. And just the arm. And now you can rotate it. And he could go all the way around. But you get the wings. So they're preventing that. I mean, you could probably move the wings. But I don't feel like it. Eh. Let's do it. Yep, I can move them. Okay. So now, we can go all the way around. I just didn't like having to move the wing. Alright. Like, everything else on him, besides this being a little loose, is perfect for tightness. It's not bad. It's not too loose, and it's not too tight. Right in the middle. And right here at the bicep, that's where it's going to do a little twist. Then he has a big elbow area, but it's single-jointed. But he still gets a pretty good bend out of it. Way past 90. And we got... The hands, they can't spin. Uh, they only fold inward. Now, one other thing that wasn't that great for mobility is the waist. He can turn it. Not really good. Like, <laughs> it's hard to do also because the legs want to move at the same time. But if you can see, that's pretty much as far as it's going to get. Is that but yeah so the legs here right above the thigh area if you move his leg out a little bit you can actually twist it all the way around otherwise you can't it gets stuck right about there and here going the other way hmm now it looks like the feet should be the other way now that I'm looking at it like it looks like the back of the feet doesn't it but yeah that's the back. But for some reason to me, that looks like it should be the front almost. No. So, we go down, we get the knees, again, single jointed. And we get a little past, no, let's say an exact 90. We go down more, we get the foot. They go out. They can't really do anything besides that. It looks like they should, but they don't. Unless you move it. Then you can really bend it more once it's tilted out. But once it's in, no. Oh, well. So, now for the part. That's work. I'm going to have to transform this guy after 30 steps. Just to get him into his uh, seeker plane form. But, you guys don't have to deal with that. But before I do change him, he also has his weapon. I totally forgot about this. Oh, cool looking gun. I like it. Dark gray with a dark green. And this, you just slide right in his hand. Not bad. Comes out easy. Alright, so here's thrust in his seeker form. Or alt mode. Very cool. I do like it. There's a few things that were problematic with this. But, not too bad, but the look of it is great. You can see the Decepticon logo still. You got the front. And you can see where the null cannons would go, and that one that goes in his hand, 
around the bottom there. Boop, tip it over. So pretty cool. And you can see where everything is. Legs. Arms. His head. I don't think. Oh, yeah, there it is. Can I see it? It's in there. Now, the problem I had with this is hooking in. When you're trying to connect pieces, uh, it tends to disconnect other pieces. And then the instruction said that on the arms, there was supposed to be one peg to make it fit into the other arm. There was not a peg. I saw no peg on the arm, on either of them, so I don't know how that was supposed to work. And the other part that gave me a lot of hassle was right here. It, it's closed right now. But every time I tried to like pinch this part here or down here, this would just come out. But I finally have it. I'm not going to be touching it. And plus, you know, it's going to be in robot form anyway. When it's on a shelf, so it's not a big deal, I guess, because I'm never have to deal with that again <laughs> once I switch them back. All right, well that's been Thrust, part of Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Line. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. And as always, you'll have yourselves a good one, and I will see you later. <laughs>